we're going to see what the cards say about P. Diddy and these allegations that are looming over him. Hello, everybody. Hi, it's me. And I just realized my mic is so super far away. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're gonna this is I, if you're wondering what's going on around my neck I've been sick last week my whole family was sick I was taking care of everybody else and then it, it, the bug hit me that's why there was absolutely no videos this past weekend huh. oh, I'm drinking hot tea oh it feels good oh. Now, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean P. Combs, you get it. He is not somebody I've ever liked. Uh, I'm going to be just forthright. I do not like the man. I never have. I He came across very smarmy to me. Uh, you know, just very untrustworthy. He, I did not, I remember um, in like making the band um, shows where he was trying to form a girl group and a boy band. I hated how he treated the, girl, the, the people. And if you have been part of this channel, you know what I think about what's going on with the K-pop industry and how the idols are treated there. I mean, trust me, I, I see what's going on over here in the Western world and see when I saw stuff like that, it also upset me you know so um yeah I just he just came to me as someone very foreboding he a dangerous a dangerous person a very dangerous person whom with people and the whisperings and the rumors that he was behind Tupac's hit I, I, he, yeah, allegedly, you know, <laughs> it seems quite believable. He, was it Kid Cuddy, um, blowing up his car because of the way he talked to, or was looking at his girlfriend? I mean, just, folks, <laughs> And people have been concerned about Justin Bieber. People also wonder about Usher. And, you know, because Usher stayed, he was given over to P. Diddy and lived with him since he was 14, was living with him at the years of 14. And so some people were like, well, he's the one who brought Justin Bieber to meet. We don't know all that transpired, but I am going to say this. Usher probably was in a very bad position and this probably was groomed and I get a sense that he had wanted to protect Be Bieber but there was something else going on and maybe the cards are going to reveal something about that but I don't know. Um, his relationship with J-Lo always seemed odd to me. There was never, they didn't seem, they seemed like two separate entities that there was no chemistry there wasn't like there wasn't this oh i want you and there wasn't even a an anti-chemistry of i hate you it was just something was off um i still can't believe that the mayor of new york city recently gave diddy the keys to the city which i i'm sure he wants to take that back i would if I were him, I mean, come on now. But right now, there are RICO charges against P. Diddy and about Sean Combs. He allegedly, um, his freak-offs, <laughs> you've heard about these? Yeah. He, these wild parties where, you know, obviously, you know, they had, what is it, a thousand bottles of baby oil? Or was it 10,000? I mean, it was just, just absurd amount of baby oil and lubricant found in his home's and IV because apparently the guys would get so dehydrated at these freak offs, they needed IVs to hydrate, and allegedly some of the IVs were used to drug people. I mean, who? 
I, 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 yeah, yeah. So there's a lot going on and I, I'm upset about it all, but I was going to not do a video originally, but I just keep feeling it's time to now. Um, I know there's a lot of rumors going around and I know this is really a triggering subject for people. Um, people need to realize that sex trafficking is real. It is happening to men and women here in the United States of America. You may think, oh yeah, we wouldn't have that here. Oh no, it's big and prevalent. And those in powerful positions with lots of money the Epstein's, the Trumps, the <laughs> the producers and certain producers in the movie industry. You know what I'm saying? There, it's been happening, and there's been such a cover up. And like when I do the videos on K-pop, there's been an uncovering of a lot of stuff, and it's coming to light over the years, and there's still more to come and I know there's going to be still more to come here in the U S and who knows what's going on, you know, Europe, you know, this stuff is scary and it is entrapping is kidnapping. It is forcing someone into a situation where they are trapped, confined, imprisoned often, um, blackmail things of, we're going to release this and this out there to control you. And you have to realize that a lot of people have probably gotten messed up. How I see this is kind of like, I see P. Diddy, you know, this is definitely, this is just like, I'm connected. Eh. A keeper of the secrets is what I want to say. He has everybody's dirt. He has secrets from on everybody. He's getting lots of movie videos that he's made to of people doing things so that he can use to get further in the world, to have more power, to have more control over others in movie industry, in the music industry, in just in the in the politics we are probably going to hear more and more about celebrities and politicians that are going to be coming out of the woodwork we're going to find out been part of a lot of this pdd stuff um <laughs> i am concerned because we know what happened to epstein when he went to jail he was silenced basically allegedly he either he silenced himself or as others in believe that um he someone else the the guards turned their backs at a certain time to allow someone else to intervene and silence him um these these are conspiracy theories this is alleged but i know personally i i personally believe and from what i've seen in my readings is definitely someone silenced him might have even pretty much said if you don't do this to yourself this is what's going to happen to somebody else you know that is also another coercion error where they did something but it was because not doing it was going to be bad too and so i think we're going to have to keep that in mind when we see some of the people coming out some of the victims and hearing what some of the victims may have done for p diddy but you got to realize he had a whole lot on them. Because if you've ever been in a situation where you are um, being oppressed, especially, you know, if you domestic violence, someone who's been through that, such as myself, you, you realize to protect others, to protect yourself, the things that you will do. And you may not be proud of it, but you realize I was in a situation like there was nothing more I could say or do. 
we need to have empathy for the victims. And I really just want to stress that before we get into the reading, because I'm going to probably rip to shreds P. Diddy because his energy is just bad, 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 bad. And I am feeling it. And I, I wasn't surprised when I looked at him up and I'm like, Oh, he's a Scorpio. That's why he has been able to keep things under so much control. He, his thought lies and his cover is so deep and he's been able to just keep it confined for so long. And, but it's all trickling out now. So let's get into the reading. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, everybody. Here we go. We're going to get into this now. Um, I think I want to start. I want to look at a relationship of J-Lo and P. Diddy. And I'm, the reason why is because nothing has come up like that. Um, she was mistreated or abused the way Cassie and other women have been. And so I don't know if J-Lo is just having to be very quiet or I don't know. Let's see here. And okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. So, so far I've got Page of Swords. We have Justice. Let's see here. Huh. What was that? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Doki. This is not going to be a pretty reading, I can tell you right now. There's two. This is, um, this deck. I just, the, a pact was made to strengthen her. Um,. She, there was somebody, oh, okay, she was young, she, something had gotten J-Lo into a situation, uh, uh, something that she needed justice, or, but not like go, go through the legal means of justice here, because what I'm saying more is like, um, she, wanted to get back at somebody. There's some kind of vengeance involved and she was willing to pretty much give in to it. Um, you see here she knew she needed to take slow and easy time. And we have the Empress reversed. She is not somebody who you find as very nurturing nor very caring of others. So it's really selfish what was going on here. But she was with Diddy for some kind of revenge, justice against someone else. And it was not love. There was no love. They did not have a loving, nurturing relationship. She made a deal and she was like, you know, I'm going to wait these out. I'm going to take things slow here. You know, she's willing to go the long haul for what she wanted to see happen. Um, and this card keeps flowing. She wanted to become famous. She wanted to make um, her name become, get more into starting new projects. And she want, started a relationship with P. Diddy for the, to get into some kind of movie or um, album. Yeah, she... Here's the full reverse. She she didn't go into this naively. She knew dealing with Diddy was going to be reckless. It was going to be really... It was not... It was a bad choice. She knew it. But she didn't fucking care. 
seven of wands. Something was being held over. The, you know, the wands here is reversed. She gave up. She just, she was feeling defeated. She had to go somewhere. She had to go. Something happened that made J-Lo feel so defeated. She had to go to this, to Diddy for help. Even though it was a bad, bad decision. So I'm going to say, I don't think the relationship was out of love. There was something else going on. And I'm seeing he used her. He, how did Diddy use her? And, and, and this is, um, I, I think I know exactly what it is. I'm hearing a word information. They wanted a contract together. Okay. They did make a deal. It was not out of love. But it did have to do with this. Okay, so the Page of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups here reversed. Now, the Page of Cups, we're dealing with a lot of like that young, young energy. Um, yeah, something. Oh. She was going against her, even her own belief system, her religious beliefs to do. She was willing to sacrifice what she believed in because she was that insecure. And the Six of Cups, you see, it's got an older woman, this woman passing, passing something down. But um, this is reversed. This is I need to let I need to let go of the past and move on. Um, there was something Diddy wanted. Ooh, he wanted info on people's past. And he held something against her that he did. It was like, you're going to help me. I'm going to help you. But just know, don't fuck with me. I, this made me laugh because I was just watching South Park again and I was thinking the uh, medicinal chicken fried chicken episode and the colonel in the episode was yelling at Carmen don't fuck me over basically and he shows the somebody getting ki this kid getting dropped out hung out of a helicopter for betraying the colonel in the episode. It's, it's funny, but dark. <laughs> dark. Dark. And that's the, the, the dark is what I'm getting. It's kind of like, your life is in my hands. Your career's in my hands. I'm going to make and break you. Um. Alright, so. Yeah, there was this. It was all information. Okay. Well, the Queen of Wands here is reversed, and this is being very in. This is insecurity. This is jealousy. So I think P Diddy is very insecure. He doesn't come across. He puts that shell of I have all the power. But the reason why he needs to have all this power is because he is so insecure on um, being able to lead on his own. Like it, like lean on his own self as someone who's big enough and strong enough to do things. Um, he is very insecure. And the, the board here, this is a two of wands reverse. It was information. The dark secrets of others was something um, going on. He was getting that from her. People felt like they could talk to J-Lo. But they didn't realize that she was using that stuff against others by turning it over to P. Diddy. <laughs> she did this for her own personal goals. There was somebody she wanted to get back at. She felt like her career was going to get stifled. Things were going to, there was some, something shady about her own career going on and she wanted distractions from that to come out and, and she wanted to protect herself and still grow in the industry. That's 
that's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, do I didn't really see her hanging out at Freak Offs. I don't think that was... I. The thing is more, she wasn't oblivious to everything that was going on, but she wasn't part of everything. She had her own role. And it was kind of like, all right, you do whatever you want, P, you know, to Diddy. And he was like, okay, you just stay in line and work this out. So now I want to kind of look into stuff with um, these allegations against him. I kind of just want to read his energy and see what I get. And <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to go with that right now, the first, these three. So what we're seeing here is when I look at this, The Ten of Pentacles, you know, this is career, this is family, this is money, this is your finances, and it's all so. There's been some kind of disputes among him and others around him. It is, it, there is a lot, and it was because I think he, he, did, he didn't follow through on something, he felt he didn't have to. And it's like, oh no, you think you thought you've been the big man all the time? I'm gonna fuck you over, bro. <laughs> and so he, I think P. Diddy started losing control of those he had. People started saying, hey, you know what? We could speak out and we'll be believed. This is a different time. People are not gonna just turn their back on something like this as they might have years ago. Um, the secrets, here's the star. And secrets that have been hidden in the dark. You see the woman here praying, looking up to that star. It's um, it's all coming. It's coming. This is this is hope. This is getting insight into really the darkness. And you see, someone's gotten away. The nine of wands. Someone got away, got out. Oh, I'm seeing Cassie here. And she, there's, there is more that she, that she has not revealed everything. And she is kind, going to be leading for other women to help them. It's like, okay, we're going to take this and we're going to persist. We're going to get our strength and we're not going to, we're not going to stop back. He did. He's seen. The, the, he, he, he's lost. It's kind of like people are like, you know what? Even if you have negative stuff against me, I get this. It ain't nothing compared to what we have against you. <laughs> I, I think people are willing to use it as a bargaining chip to bust the big guy at the top. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Oh, this card flipped. And the Knight of Swords. Someone be very reckless and going forward. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is usually, you know, you're it's looking over all your hard work. It's like, okay, you have persevered, you've done a lot of hard work. And Okay, P. Diddy was something, he was, was he about to start on another kind of project or something? Like, he didn't care about how Cassie and others says that he was just going to keep going forward. Like, it didn't matter. And that was his downfall because he kept saying, I've worked too hard on this to get here. I'm going to go ahead and do this project, but it wasn't the smartest decision. He was not thinking... Um, carefully. He was very reckless. He, he, for some reason, he didn't stop and think more carefully about his situation. It's almost like he had gotten to the point where he felt like he could do whatever. 
so it didn't matter. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. Hangman and Eight of Pentacles. Something weird just hit me. I just heard the words Tupac, and then these two cards dropped. And the Hangman um, is, you know, that it's... It's being a martyr, often. It's a sacrifice, a transition to something. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is um, usually someone doing an apprenticeship. But it also can be someone's hard work or someone really had enjoyed their job. They really enjoyed their career. But it had to be sacrificed. <gasps> this is a number of people. I'm, I'm. He made people sacrifice things. For their career. To get a start. You know he's always. Oh I'm going to start this new singer. And push them forward. We're talking the Biebers. We're talking. Um, was it. Danity. Girl. Oh god. What was the. O-Town. And. Just a bunch of little things. There are. There. There. There's. There's. If you aren't willing to. Sacrifice that. To get your foot in the door, I'm going to alienate you out. <laughs> this is, um, this was like his whole ordeal. Basically break somebody to be able to control. Okay, so what I mean break is I'm thinking of like a horse. Horse ranching, how they break a horse in. Or they used to. It's like my great grandfather had a horse ranch, and he would ride that horse, and you know the horse is trying to throw him off and break him, but he was like, "No, I'm going to stay on, and you're going to." And it, it was a way of training or you know domesticating an animal. Yeah, breaking that horse, and it was like, "I'm going to break you, in like that, so that I can control you." And you have this new career. That's what I'm seeing. It's like a cycle that he had. That it was doing. Um, I, uh, justice is what people want. Okay, she's coming out. Uh, we're going to see it. Justice is going to come out, folks. Okay, so... There is somebody who is in between the rock and the hard place. He's got some really too difficult decisions to make about coming forward, what they're going to do, what they're going to say. I, I'm going to say a handful of people like this, not just one. They, it, they know that they to get justice, to get away, to be able to get a fresh start for themselves, they have... Some very difficult choices, and and so, um, who they've got a lot of secrets to share. A lot of secrets. We're seeing they're going to be bringing stuff to light. So I think with P Diddy, there is a whole shit ton more to come, folks. There is so much more coming out about him. Allegedly, allegedly, he did all these horrible things, but that's kind of where I I. This reading is, if you want me to do more, I can. Um, it's just really hard to explain certain things I was seeing. And maybe some of y'all kind of understood a little bit more what I was trying to say. Might know a little bit more about P. Diddy than I do. <laughs> Please 
share in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Um, yeah, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I've had a lot of new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your comments. You know, I have been so relieved that in my last videos, I'm getting a lot more comments, but everyone's being nice and civil to each other. And there's no more of this whole vile attacking this that I started seeing that just, I didn't want to do any more videos. I told you guys, but kept seeing the stuff. I didn't want to keep doing it and it's gone. So thank you. <laughs> um, I really appreciate everybody. Please remember, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And I will see you around next time.